What's up guys, Jimmy from Mountain Bike Travel Review here and today we're going to talk about one of my favorite products as of late and that is Kushcore. Now before we jump into it, make sure you smash that subscribe button down below if you're a fan of the channel. Make sure you like, comment, that's really the only way you can support creators like us and it's greatly appreciated. Now, let's talk Kushcore. Now what exactly is Kushcore? Kushcore is cushion for your wheel. It's a dense foam insert that you insert into your tire and it not only provides more stability both in sidewall, rolling resistance, but it also protects your rim from damage when taking big hits out on the trails. Now initially I was pretty hesitant about adding Kushcore to my bikes. Is it worth the extra weight value to protect your rims and have that extra stability in your tire when riding? To give you some perspective on the weight, I just upgraded to a 29er. So the 29 inch insert is 260 grams per tire. That's 0.57 pounds. So just over a half pound of weight added to your bike per tire. That's a significant amount of weight when you're talking about a 28 to 32 pound mountain bike. Now Kushcore comes in a few different models. I always use the Pro model, which is for more aggressive riders. They also have an XC model which is a little bit lighter and for those riders that aren't hitting as much chunk as others and then they even have inserts for fat bikes. I can only imagine how good that is on a fat bike. I unfortunately don't own one. Now on my previous bike, my 2016 Santa Cruz Nomad, I decided to give it a whirl and added it to both my wheels. And let me tell you, it was an absolute game changer. When I say game changer, I mean I literally can't see myself riding without Kushcore in my tires. It is such a different experience. You have so much more ability to smash on your bike, to rail corners. You have a lot more confidence over chunk. That being said, it's not going to protect you from everything. I've taken some pretty serious wallops that have still blown up my rims through the Kush Core. And the Kush Core itself isn't indestructible. It can pinch off big hits, it can tear holes in it, so you might need to replace. I'm not even close to that yet though, and I've been running Kush Core for about a year on my previous bike. Now let's talk about the benefits of Kush Core and the science behind it. Kush Core didn't just make up the benefits, they actually test all of their theories and see how each factor affected the tire strength or riding, etc. You can actually go to their website and see all the results of the test, how it's done, why it's done, why they're calling it effective for one reason or another. It's actually pretty cool and I highly recommend checking it out. To give you the highlights on some of the benefits of Kushcore, first off we're going to talk about suspension effectiveness. It turns out that Kushcore can actually help the effectiveness of your suspension by 16%. A lot of the effectiveness in relation to your suspension has to do with the Kushcore absorbing a lot of the hits before your suspension has to deal with it. So it's essentially adding another level to your suspension. The next factor that they flaunt is 35% sidewall stability stability increase. 35%. The sidewall stability, especially when you're cornering, is insane. I can rail corners now and I don't have to worry about my tire burping, my sidewall collapsing, and the tire ultimately rolling off the rim in worst case scenario. Last but not least, Kushcore claims to increase the smoothness of your ride by 12%. Do I think an exact percentage is going to match for everybody? No, but yes, it definitely increases how smooth you ride. At the end of the day, you can really compare this to the same damper you'll see in your suspension. It dampens all those hits. So all of these percentages in my eyes can't be 100% exact, but it is extremely effective in all of the factors that it claims to be. Now let's walk through a quick install. I'm just going to do one wheel for you guys. It took me 10-15 minutes. Once you get the hang of it, it's a pretty quick process. Now because the installation of Kushcore can get tricky, Kushcore actually released the bead dropper, which is a heavy duty tire lever to help you with the insert. So when your Kushcore arrives, it comes in this nice box. That's where you're gonna find your first insert. On the inside, you can see there's a channel here. This channel is what you'll actually insert into the channel on your rim and can prevent burping, help with stability. And then you have these sidewalls here. So the space all above this is where your tire is going to sit. So there'll still be air, but this gives that extra stability in your sidewall and keeps your sidewalls from compressing in, which can tear them off the wheel, lose a lot of your stability in corners, so on and so forth. You have some instructions here, different tips on how to install, super helpful. Your other insert here, some nice stickers you can add to your rim. And then you have these 
valve stems. So why do you need a special valve stem for Kushkor? They have the specialty design where you can actually see that the hole is not only in the top, but it's also on the sides. So even though the top's covered, air can still travel out the sides, allowing you to inflate and deflate the tire. Now when you're installing the Kushkor, you want to make sure that you clean out your rim. I recommend having a nice rim tape that goes all the way from one end to the other on the internal of the rim. That way the cush core doesn't try to push the rim tape down into the center if the rim tape doesn't go all the way to the edge. This is an ARC 30 offset rim, so yes, cush core will work with offset rims. Per cush core's recommendation, we're going to use a trash can here. So first things first, we're going to install the valve stem here. When installing the valve stem, I like to make sure the little air holes are going out to the sides as opposed to going out towards the rim. That way there's less of a chance that the cush core is going to cover that air hole if it's facing this way. There we go. Valve stem. Next up, let's put the cush core on our rim. So a little trick here that they tell you in their video and on all the tutorials is this is a rubber handled hammer to not damage the rim. I'm gonna put the cush core in the bottom channel. Then I'm gonna put this hammer at the bottom and I'm gonna stand on it because you're gonna need some serious force to stretch this thing up over the rim. So we'd like to start down the bottom, get a good grasp on it, and then you're actually gonna stretch that cush core right over the top. Don't be afraid to stretch it. It's made to stretch. Make sure all the cush core is sitting in that channel. You're good to go. Step two, complete. Now, we need to bring over our tire. Make sure that your tire is going the right way depending on which way is forward. I've put my tire on backwards way too many times. Make sure you line up your tire logo with your valve stem or else everybody will yell at you. So we'll start at the bottom. I like to just get cush core set right in there. Work the tire around to get it up over the cush core. Actually not too hard, all right, there we go. Got our logo aligned. Let's bring out the trash can. All right, now we have to start wrapping the tire around the cush core. I always like to start where my valve stem is. Now the key with this is to actually push forward, then pull back and tuck the tire into the bead. Really wanna make sure you grab that cush core, pull it back, and get the tire to set in there. There you go, you got it started. Now we just gotta work our way around the rest the same fashion. Now, if you are having trouble with this, you can use a little squeeze bottle with some warm soapy water. As you get towards the end, it's gonna be a little bit harder. As soon as it starts to get a little more difficult to do by hand, we're gonna introduce the bead dropper. As you can see, I'm just pushing this straight down. That's actually gonna push everything into the center notch of the rim, making it easier and giving you some slack to pull the rest over. This bead dropper is fantastic. You just do a little bit at a time, eventually, it'll fall right into there. There you go. We got one half done, now we gotta flip it over to the other half. There we go. We've got it all in, both sides. It's time to pump this bad boy up. Everything's all set up. Now we just add our tubeless fluids and you're good to go. It took me about 10 minutes. So that's the install process. Pretty quick, pretty straightforward. Now first impressions when you put the cush core in your tire and you're out there riding is it's such a different feel. It actually took me a couple rides to get used to it because it feels weird and you have to get comfortable with trusting the cush core and all of the benefits that it brings to your riding. Now I have read a lot of different reviews that say that you can drop a significant amount of pressure. In my experience, I normally run 27, 28 PSI in the rear. I still run 27, 28 PSI in the rear but with a little more confidence. If you have any questions, comments, feel free to leave them below. I hope this video was helpful for you guys. And again, I highly recommend Kushcore for all levels of riding. Thanks as always, guys. Make sure you smash that like, comment button, and subscribe to the channel for all of the latest videos. Keep riding.